So, okay, hi everyone. I'm Kratika from Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. Okay, I'm here to present my work on road traffic density estimation. We have developed a low complexity technique to do so. The reason to do the same is um, the road traffic density estimation is the building block for most of the intelligent transportation systems. So we want to make it really low cost uh, so that it can be deployed in a large scale manner. Let me give you an overview of the approach. It has a one-time process and a recurring process. Uh, we are taking a block-based technique to uh, develop the algorithm. So uh, the first and foremost thing is developing the blocks. Uh, the first thing that we do is we mark the region of interest. So in this case, the region of interest is lanes for us. Uh, right now it's manual, but it can be automated using an, any lane detection algorithm. Uh, after that, we have an automated process to detect the blocks uh, as in dividing the lanes into blocks. Uh, we do so using uh, the ratio between the lane width and the size of a vehicle, the length of a vehicle. So uh, we take an approximate ratio to divide the blocks, uh, divide the lane into blocks. As you can see from the image at the right, uh, most of the small vehicles cover at least three blocks. Um, after this, we have a background construction process. We are using a very simple technique to, uh, to construct the background. Since we have a, a block-based process, for each block, we uh, kind of uh, store the variance for the blocks uh, for, the, for n number of frames. And then we detect if the variance of all those frames is very low. We say it's a background. If not, it's not. Uh, it's just on the basis that if you have a background, it will be stagnant. After that, we have uh, once we have constructed a background, we have a uh, blocks. We are trying to detect whether uh, blocks are detected uh, are covered by vehicles. So something like this. So the first half of the algorithm works on a occupied block detection process, in which we are trying to detect if there is any change with respect to the background. Uh, this is also a block-based process. Uh, we take um, the variance difference with respect to the background and the foreground pixels together uh, to get a parameter OCC, which is used for the detection process. Uh, more details will be given in the poster, pre poster presentation. So after the occupied block detection, as you can see with, uh, with the vehicles, the moving shadows are also detected. So we need to get rid of those shadows to be able to, you know, um, uh, get the only the vehicle blocks. Uh, for that process, we are using a, uh, uh, paper on normalized cross correlation, uh, but we are um, tweaking it a little bit to make it more um, optimized. Uh, once we are done with all this, we have the vehicle blocks, uh, which can be seen on the right. Once we have all these blocks, we can detect the traffic density percentage, which is as simple as getting the number of vehicle blocks on the road and the total number of blocks. The idea is uh, we do not want to count the number of vehicles or we do not want to calculate the speed of vehicle just to get the traffic density, which is, you know, simply the number of blocks occupied or, you know, the number, the part of the road occupied by vehicles. It's like a human. Uh, they don't count the number of vehicles or they do not calculate the speed of a vehicle to estimate whether the traffic density is low, medium or high. Um, so these are some results that we have got um, on the first uh, row you can see first column you can see that it is able to detect the vehicles quite well and it's not detecting any of the moving shadows in the second uh, block uh, second column you see it can it works in different lighting condi conditions uh, daytime nighttime uh, the middle row it shows um, rainy season uh, videos if it's clear enough I'm not sure um, these are the comparisons that we have uh, we have tested in, uh, it on a few videos this particular uh, uh, accuracy values are on a traffic DB data set given by UCSD it has 254 videos with five second e five seconds each uh, we are able to get similar accuracy as the state-of-the-art techniques uh, but the time required is much less, uh, so we can do it in real time and we have much lesser complexity than the other techniques. As you can see, we are able to achieve a time similar to a GPU-based method.
Finally, uh, we have a low complexity technique. It's irrespective of camera perspectives, shadows, illumination conditions. And in our future work, we want to have a more holistic understanding of the monitored area. Uh, thank you.